This is one of the most sought after investing books of all time. It's written by Li Lu, the Chinese Warren Buffett, but it's impossible to find until now. If you go to this website, you can buy the book, but it's in Chinese, but I can't read Chinese. So why did I still buy this book? Because that's how we get the English version. I know, I know that doesn't make any sense. Even the people I bought the book from thought I was crazy. But we're living in the future, in a time where most new phones come with Google Lens, an app that will let you translate pictures, which means you can go page by page with this book and get it in English for free. And I know, I know, that sounds like a tedious process, and I'd much rather just give you my English transcript. But apparently that's illegal. But what I can do is show you seven of the best ways to translate this book yourself. For example, you could also use an app like Duolingo, which will help you learn Chinese so you can read it. Or maybe you can hire someone on Upwork to translate the book for you, but we can do better, much better. Somebody leaked a PDF version of the book on this website. I did not include the link to this website in the description because I need people to watch this entire video. Now I'm no lawyer, so please do your own research. But what I did is I bought the Chinese version of this book, downloaded the PDF, and then translated it using Google Translate. I felt this was the best way to ensure that I was acting ethically and was no different than me just learning Chinese to read the book or using Google Lens, except for the fact that it was much faster. Now, if you use this method, the PDF is going to be too big for Google to translate it right away. So you'll need to chop up the PDF using Microsoft Word or split PDF online tool or something like that. From there, if it's still too big, you might have to compress it using a compressed PDF online tool or just cut it up into smaller pieces. It's not a perfect method, but it will give you an English version of this book with a dash of hilarious mistranslations. How lucky I am to have such a lover, partner, friend, and bosom friend. <laughs> Funny enough, after seeing some of Lilu's humor from other conversations, I wouldn't be surprised if that's an accurate translation. It's not, but still. All right, so that was a pretty good method, but we're just getting started. We have three more methods to reveal, including a once in a lifetime opportunity that we'll reveal later in the video. And I don't want to ruin it now. We got to get there, but I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with a chance for Lilu to know your sh name. What could it be? I don't know. Next method is source hunting, and it's one of our favorites. Now on this channel, we're producing a three-part series reviewing Li Lu's book. The third part we released early, and the other two should be coming very soon. To my knowledge, it'll be the first review of Li Lu's book as an English YouTube channel. So why would we tell people how to get the book before we release our series if we have so much leverage and other people can make videos much faster than us. First off, if we hold that information from you, there's an obvious opportunity cost of you not having the book ahead of time, and we never want to do that for you. Obviously, opportunity cost is something that we want to emphasize on. But secondly, there's also the fact that Li Lu's book is just a corroboration of his finest work. And if we go chapter by chapter and research each lecture independently, we'll come across information that was either cut from the book or not even included in the book, which means we can provide to you more value than just a book review itself. This is how we stumbled across Li Lu's 2012 Columbia lecture. The source hunt, you can go to jd.com to find the book and then use Google Chrome's translate feature to find the English chapters. From there, you can just research each lecture or conversation independently and continue to dig up information and go down the rabbit hole. It's because of this method that in the 2006 Columbia Business School lecture that we were able to figure out that Li Lu wasn't using a metric called EBIT, but instead a metric called EBITDA. And you'll see so much more of that in the other two parts of the video. So even if you read the book, I think you should still watch this series. All right, but back to this video. So essentially, we told you how to pay for an English PDF version of this book and how you can get more out of this book by source hunting. But I bet what you didn't see coming is the fact that our next method involves you getting paid to translate the book. When I was first researching how to obtain an English version of this book, I reached out to the publishers themselves to see if an English version already existed. They informed me that only a Chinese version existed, but I could help them translate it. If I could find a publisher willing to buy the English rights and translate it, then they'd be happy to actually translate it in English. But I didn't want to go through a publisher. I wanted to publish it myself. I mean, think about how cool it would be to have your name at the bottom of Li Lu's book, forward by your name, right? So I've already published two books before and thought maybe I can go through Amazon's KDP process. So I got the research in and I found out that typically these deals involve 
you paying them a royalty and a certain amount up front. So I cracked open an Excel sheet, started doing more work, and found out that after Amazon's cut and their cut and every other expense like advertising, that it probably wouldn't be a worthy venture. But I was determined not to give up because I know how much of a demand there is for the English version of this book. Recently, a friend of mine, Adam J. Mead, over at the Oracle's Classroom, released his book, the complete financial history of Berkshire Hathaway through a publisher called Harriman House. And I thought it would be a perfect fit. So I connected the two publishers together and Lee Lu shut us down saying that Harriman House wasn't a large enough publisher. And that's where I'm at today and your once in a lifetime opportunity. You could, could. You could and you could. Buy the English rights from them and then publish it yourself. Maybe Lee Lu would love to go through an independent publisher who's not gonna charge them a huge amount of fees like a large financial publishing company would, but I'd imagine it's going to be extremely hard for you to convince them to do that. I'm not gonna say impossible, but extremely hard. You could also try to reach out to one of the largest financial publishing companies, maybe like Wiley or something, and try to connect the two publishers together and then get it done. That's one method, but I have a much better idea. Li Lu has always talked about creating a value investor village where people from all across the world would gather, share insights and their true performances and how they got them. We could incorporate his ambition with that project with our ambition with this project by providing to you a once in a lifetime opportunity. In the description, I have a link to a Google Sheets document that lists every section of the book and then has a column for somebody's name. If you'd like to help us translate this book so more people can enjoy it, what you can do is send us an email with your name in one or more sections that you'd like to translate. Then send us another email later on when you've translated that section. And once we collect the entire book, we'll send out an email to Lilu and the publishers that goes something a little like this. Dear Lilu and Cidic Publishing, Civilization, Modernization, Value Investment in China is one of the greatest investing books of all time. Because we believe it needs to be shared with more of the world, we have translated the whole book in English and are offering it to you with no strings attached. If you'd like to credit us, it'd mean the world to us, but there's no pressure to do so. We care more that more of the world can enjoy the insights. Sincerely, The Value Investing Village, and then our names. I might make it less formal because we've already gone back and forth a few times, but you get the gist. And I'm not going to guarantee anything. There is no guarantee that any of your hard work will be recognized, except by us, but I think it's worth a shot. By the way, with that spreadsheet linked in the description, if you find that somebody's name is next to a section that you really wanted to translate, still don't hesitate to reach out to us because we'll still put your name next to it. Maybe you can beat them to the punch. And at worst, you'll just motivate them to work a little harder. Our focus isn't on who calls dibs on what section, but how we can produce this the most efficient way. And if you provide us permission to provide your email, then maybe if there are multiple people who want to tackle the same section, you guys can work together. Also, if there's another language you want to translate the book into, we'll open up a new tab in the spreadsheet so that way you guys can do that too. That is my greatest method for translating this book. You have an opportunity now and must act quickly if you want to seize it. The opportunity like that don't come very often. So when it when it comes, you have to seize it. Now, if I may be vulnerable for a second, I actually struggled with whether I should make this video or not. And that's because I know there's going to be a certain segment of people that are just going to download the PDF without buying the book or acting ethically or anything like this. And am I any better than them for showing them how to do it? Well, ultimately, I decided that leaked PDFs and the like are going to be a thing. That's just human nature. And if I can be a voice of reason coaxing people into doing the right thing, then I think I've done a good job. But I'm still uncertain. This was my decision, though. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Thank you so much for watching. And let's hope there's a congratulations video coming in the future. Until next time.